this video tutorial I will explain AWS command line interface. The AWS command line interface is a powerful tool. Using that we can interact with AWS services directly from your command line. And we will see the process of installing, configuring and using AWS command line interface to manage various AWS services including S3, EC2 and SQS. By mastering the AWS command line interface, you will be able to efficiently handle AWS tasks and automate your workflows. Now we will see how to install AWS command line interface in a different operating system. The first one is Windows installation. We have to download AWS CLI MSI installer from the official AWS CLI website. Then we have to run the downloaded MSI installer and follow the on-screen instruction to complete the installation. Second one is Mac OS installation. In that two options are there. Option one is install using home brew with command brew install AWS CLI. In option two, use the bundle installer by running the following two commands. Using curl command, Download AWS CLI v2 package, then using sudo installer, install the package. Third one is Linux installation. We can use following three commands to install AWS command line interface on Linux operating system. First download AWS CLI v2.zip file using curl command, then unzip the zip file, then using sudo AWS install. We can install AWS CLI on Linux operating system. Search for AWS CLI install windows. Open this link. Here you can download the installer for Windows, Mac OS and Linux. I am going to install in Windows operating system. So click on this to download the Windows installer. It is downloaded successfully. Open that. Double click on this MSI installer. Click on next. Next. It is going to install in this path. Click on next. Click on install. Click on finish. The installation is successful. Here you can see AWS CLI is successfully installed in this path. Now open the command prompt. Then check the AWS command line interface version using this command. Type AWS help and it will provide instruction. Next we will see how to configure AWS CLI. After installation, configure the CLI with your AWS credential by running AWS configure command and it will ask your AWS access key ID and AWS secret access key. Then you have to set the default region name. Then you have to choose the output format. Output format can be JSON, YAML, text or table. Now we will create the user and create access key for the user. Search for IAM, click on user, click on create user, give the username, click on next.
user is successfully created click on this uh, username go to security credentials click on uh, create access key and uh, use case select uh, command line interface click on next click on uh, create access key and uh, here you can see access key is created and secret access key also created. You can download and save it in your local system. Click on done. And here you can see one access key is created and it is active. Now run this command AWS configure. It is asking access key ID. Next, it is asking a secret access key. Next, uh, it is asking uh, default uh, region name. Then it is asking uh, default output format. And uh, the configuration is done. To check current configuration, use this command. The configuration file is located in this path. We will go and check there. Here you can see two files. This file has access key ID and uh, secret access key. This file has default region and uh, output. Now we will see basic AWS CLI commands. To check your current configuration, you have to use uh, AWS configure list. To list all your uh, S3 buckets, you have to use uh, AWS S3 LS. To create a new S3 bucket, you have to use AWS S3 MB, then the bucket name. To upload a file to the S3 bucket, you have to use AWS S3 CP, then the file name and the bucket name. To download file from S3 bucket, you have to use AWS S3 CP, then the bucket name and the file name. To list all your EC2 instances, you have to use AWS EC2 describe hyphen instances. Working with Amazon S3. To list all your S3 bucket, you have to use the command AWS S3 LS. To create a new S3 bucket, you have to use the command AWS S3 MB, then the bucket name. To upload a file, you have to use the command AWS S3 CP, then the file name and the bucket name. To download a file, you have to use the command AWS S3 CP, then the bucket name and the file name.
managing EC2 instances. To list all your EC2 instances, you have to use the command AWS EC2 describe instances. To start EC2 instance, you have to use the command AWS EC2 start instances, then the instance IDs. To stop EC2 instance, you have to use the command AWS EC2 stop instances, then the instance IDs. To terminate EC2 instance, you have to use the command AWS EC2 terminate instances, then the instance IDs. Using AWS CLI with Amazon SQS. To create SQS queue, you have to use the command AWS SQS create queue, then the queue name. To send message to your queue, you have to use the command AWS SQS send message, then the queue URL, then the message body. To receive messages from your queue, you have to use the command AWS SQS receive message, then the queue URL. To delete message from your queue, then you have to use the command AWS SQS delete message, then queue URL, then you have to mention receipt handle. Help and documentation. To get more information and see all available commands and options, you can use the command AWS help. For specific service commands, you can use the command AWS S3 help. AWS EC2 help and AWS SQS help. For more detailed information, you can refer AWS CLI documentation. AWS help. AWS S3 help. Summary and next steps. First we will see key takeaways. Using AWS CLI is a powerful way to manage and automate your AWS services. By installing, configuring and familiarizing yourself with basic commands, you can efficiently handle various AWS tasks directly from your command line. The next one is practice and exploration. Continue practicing with different AWS services and you have to explore more advanced CLI features and experimenting with scripting and automation to streamline your workflows. Next one is further learning. The AWS CLI documentation provides detailed information of all the commands and their options, making it an invaluable resource for further learning. You have to consider exploring AWS SDK for programmatic access to AWS services in your preferred programming language. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click on like button and please subscribe to my channel. You can get Java source code and PowerPoint presentation for each and every video. That you can see it in the description section of the video. Click on show more and here you can see the description and here you can see the links to download source code and PowerPoint presentation.